Hello and welcome. I am Vishwanath Khan. In this video, let us understand the first VTU lab program for artificial intelligence and machine learning laboratory. The first lab program is A star search algorithm. The diagram which you see on the right will usually be written on the board and we may be asked to solve it on paper and also write the Python code on either Jupyter Notebook or whichever ID we are using it. Let us understand how the pro program works. Initially, we create a dictionary called graph nodes. This is very easy. We just see the diagram and we create a key for every node in the graph given. And for every node, we create or uh, we uh, specify the neighbor nodes along with the distance from that particular node. Now from A, uh, we have two neighbors that is B and F. B will have the distance 6 as given in the diagram. Similarly, F will have the distance 3. Uh, we follow the same procedure for all the nodes in the graph given. So remember that every node here is a key and the entire thing is a dictionary graph nodes is a dictionary so a is a key and this is the value and we are uh, we are saying that uh, every value is of the type list that is python list moving on we have one function called get neighbors get neighbors is a simple function it will just return the value of the particular key that is suppose we pass a here then if if v is in graph nodes that is for example if a is in the dictionary a in the in the dictionary graph nodes then it will simply return the value of that particular key otherwise it returns none so this get neighbors as the name suggests it will return the neighbors of the given node moving on we have one function called h of n h is nothing but heuristic you can as observe in the graph given for every node there is one value written in the box it may not be written in the box normally for uh, easier representation I have written it in a box every node is having a value uh, associated with it that is the heuristic value heuristic value is like the total cost uh, in some respect it is not the uh, total distance of the path from A to uh, J or anything like that. It is some associated value which gives you the cost from uh, to reach the uh, gold node starting from that node. So except for the gold node uh, whose h, uh, h value will be 0, uh, all the other nodes will have some h values. So uh, this function basically we are again creating a dictionary h list and we are creating key values for every node in the graph and we just uh, keep the value as the value given in the box. So A's heuristic value is 10, B's heuristic value is 8, then C is 5 and so on. So this function when it is called, it will simply return the associated value of the given node. Suppose we pass n as B, then it will return H of B that is 8. So we are done with the initial uh, part of the program. Moving on. Now we have the main algorithm that is A star algorithm. So A star algorithm takes two parameters. One is the start node, another one is the stop node or you can even call it goal node. Uh, initially we create what is called as open set, closed set, G, parents and all. These are all initializations. Now open set is like the unexplored nodes that is the nodes which you are yet to visit. So initially we uh, initialize it to we are, uh, we are creating a set and the set only contains start node in the beginning. Closed set is explored set of nodes. So nothing is explored in the beginning. So it is empty. G will contain the uh, distance value. Initially it is an empty dictionary. Parents obviously it will be empty dictionary. Parents will actually have the path. That is if you are moving from in a given path. For example if you are at C then parent of C will be B. Parent of B will be A. Like that. And uh, so uh, the distance from of the start node is obviously zero. That is, like to reach the start node, there is no distance, so it is zero. 
and the parents of start node is start node only so this is the initialization next uh, we put the entire pros entire part of the code in a while loop and the while condition is while the length of open set is greater than 0 that means open set should have at least one element now if it is greater than 0 so initially we take so n is just a variable we are creating and we initialize it to none then open set as it said initially we will have only the start node so now open set is having a if n is equals to equals to none that is we have already initialized so in the first iteration n will become v so now with v uh, v value is nothing but a v will be initialized to n so that is a value of n but for other cases as we move on then the other part of the uh, condition that is n will not be none that at that time we will have to compare g of v plus h of v this is the uh, basic formula of a star algorithm so like in the in the theory we study that f of v is equals to g of v plus h of v h of v is the heuristic value g of v is the distance value this is what we compare okay now remembering this that is uh, we take the start node it is like at a given point of time which is the node we are considering so now we have some value or we have some node n if n is the stop node that is if it is already the goal node then you can simply pass or there is no such node n that is graph nodes of n if there is no such node then you can also pass that is what we do here so this is like one uh, condition just to ensure there are uh, like it is not it is not terminating condition it is a uh, condition we check uh, to make sure that we don't do unnecessary work okay now else so what we do uh, from a given node so suppose we are in a now we get the neighbors of a we get b and f and what will this get neighbors of n return we we saw that get neighbors will return the value in this dictionary that is suppose now a value of v is a it will return this value that is it will return the list containing these two tuples b comma six f comma three so we uh, it returns a list and each item in the list is a tuple so this we need to remember if we know that so now we are creating some temporary va uh, variables just to store every time we get some value from this function get neighbors of n so for m comma wait in get neighbors of n so uh, while in any graph traversal uh, we usually uh, have this convention of open set and closed set if the node which is returned as a neighbor of a particular node n understand uh, we are in the node n now and it will return some nodes as the neighbors that neighbors of n should not be in the open set and should not be in the closed set as well if that condition is satisfied what we do we will add that node to the open set so b and f so basically b and f are not in uh, open set not in closed set uh, in the first iteration it suppose it returns b so what we, what we will do is we will just add b to the open set and uh, this two is self explanatory parents of b is a so here n will be a pa m will be b parents of b will be a and g of m will be g of n plus weight now this is important uh, the weight of reaching the, the that is the distance of uh, b will be the distance to reach its previous node plus the weight that what i mean to say is suppose you are at c now uh, your immediate parent is b uh, this b to reach b already the di distance value is 6 and the weight to reach from b to c is 3 so we must make sure that we consider the entire cost of reaching that particular node that is the meaning of this part of the code in the program if it is not in the open set or in the closed set what we do we check one condition that is if a given the uh, g value for a given node if it is greater than the path we have found so g of n plus weight is like the path we have found if it is greater so we update it we change it to the value because if it is greater we we are uh, searching for the optimal path so if this is greater uh, this obviously will be smaller so we will take this as the updated value of g of m and we are updating the path also that is parents of m is equals to n and suppose if 
C is already in the closed set. That is, if a particular node is already in the closed set, but this we have found it is not optimal. So what we do, we will just remove it and we will add it to the open set. This is one part of the code. Now, again, this is one uh, condition. Like suppose if n is equals to none, obviously n should never be none. If it is none, we will say part does not exist and we will simply return. We will just simply return none. Moving on. If n is the stop node, that is, suppose we have reached to the goal node already, what we do, we create one empty list by name path, and as I said, parents is like an empty dictionary which we created in the beginning. Parents is an empty dictionary which we created, and every time we uh, keep on adding the values, like for example, we add parent of b is a, parent of c is b, parent of d is b, things like that. So this parent will have a will have a key value pair. Any dictionary will have a key key value pair. Okay. So while parents of n is not equals to n, that is when uh, when will this be uh, possible? That is when will parents of n will actually be n only? That is um, c. Suppose we are in the node c. Parent of C should never be C itself, so that is like a condition we check, and we simply go on appending. That is to this an empty list, we append the nodes. So C will append B, then it will append A, things like that. So we keep on appending, and now as you, uh, you can see here, path that append of n and n is equals to parents of n. That is, so we start suppose now because the goal node is J, assume that we have finished everything and we are in J right now, and uh, Like assume that this is the path found because that is the uh, solution. I'm just assuming for the sake of explanation. Now J, it will what it will take? It will place, it will append the immediate parent of J that is I, and n it will become parents of n that is we are updating the value of n. J's parent is I, so next we will take I as the n value and we will put the parents of n itself that is. J to I, then parent of I is G, then parent of G is F, parent of F is K, like that. Okay. When will the pair? So when will the parent of n be equal to n? That condition will happen here because the start node will have no parent node. So when this comes, so uh, what we have in the path, we will have J I G F. We don't have A. So what we do? Uh, this while loop. Uh, terminates it will come out now we have we will just append the start node to the path that is everything is there up to the uh, node other than the start node so we have append the start node but we have the path in the reverse direction from the goal node to the start node but what we usually want is from start node to goal node so we will just reverse it this is a built in function reverse is applicable for lists so It will uh, J I G F A will become A F G I J, and uh, we will just print path dot path found, and we will print the path, and we will return the path. This will happen when we are in J. Suppose this is not happening. This is like the basic condition we do in every iteration. That is, from the open set we will remove it. That is, after exploring a node n. Suppose we are in Like in the process of finding the uh, process of finding the path, suppose we are in B, and we explored it. Uh, explored it in the sense we uh, we went through its children, that is its neighbors. So what we do is we will put B into the closed set, that is we will add it to the closed set, and we will remove it from the open set. Open set is unexplored, closed set is explored. And by this time, like if the path is already found, it would have returned the path that is here. Or uh, we will print the path on it will return path. If the path is not found until this point, then this is like the default condition of the function, default statement. If nothing uh, above works, then this will uh, work. It will simply print print. Uh, it will simply print path does not exist and it will simply return none. And this is the line which executes the program. In other words, like you know the the Python uh, uh, the Python works in the format. Uh, it it will start like in, as any other programming language. This is like the main function. Right? It, like, this is where the program starts. Like this will be created. Graph nodes will be created. These functions are not 
uh, called and which, uh, they, they are not run until they are called. So basically, this is the first function we are calling ASR algo. So uh, this is the start node and this is the goal node. That is the stop node. So it will come here the start uh, this al this function ASR algo. Then um, it will call the h function that is heuristic function whenever required. Every time it will call the heuristic function. So this part of the uh, code will be executed and uh, it will use this graph nodes. So it will also be used in this dictionary which we created in the beginning. And ultimately this will return the path but we would have already printed the path in the function itself. So it, the uh, output will be something like this A F G I J A F G I J. The same can be done for any any other uh, graph given. It is just that we need to change graph nodes and h of n uh, values. That is it in this pro. That is it in this video. Uh,